The late 19th century witnessed a period of rapid technological advancement in naval warfare. The age of sail was giving way to the era of steam and steel. Germany, an emerging naval power, embraced these innovations with the construction of the Blitz-class Avisos. These small but powerful warships, comprising SMS Blitz and SMS File, were harbingers of a new era in naval design and strategy. They were the first German warships built entirely of steel, marking a significant departure from the traditional wooden hulls of earlier vessels. This innovation gave the Blitz class greater strength, durability and resistance to damage, ushering in a new standard for warship construction. This reflected the growing dominance of steam power in naval warfare and signaled a shift towards a more modern warship profile. The Avisos were designed in 1879. The design specifications for the Blitz class Avisos called for a top speed of 17 knots, 31 kilometers per hour, 20 miles per hour, from about 2,500 metric horsepower, 2,500 imperial horsepower, though the finalized design had a top speed of a knot less. The ships marked a significant advance in naval technology for the German fleet. They were the first steel-hulled vessels, and they were the first cruiser-type vessels to abandon traditional sailing masts. The Blitz class, therefore, represented a radical departure from the traditional warships of the time. Their armament, a torpedo tube and a battery of light guns, reflected the growing importance of the torpedo as a weapon, since the torpedo tube served as its primary offensive armament and the guns were necessary to defend against the increasingly powerful torpedo boats of the period. At the time of their completion, they were among the earliest torpedo cruisers in the world. The Blitz-class Avisos were the first step toward creating the modern steel-hulled light cruiser and their modern appearance presaged later developments. Development of the Aviso type would ultimately come to fruition in the Gazelle-class light cruisers, built a decade later. The Blitz design proved to be an effective one, as evidenced by the fact that Blitz remained in active service for 35 years. The Blitz class ships were 75.30 meters, 247 feet 1 inch, long at the waterline, and 78.43 meters, 257 feet 4 inch long overall. They had a beam of 9.90 meters, 32 feet 6 inches, and a maximum draft of 4.07 meters, 13 feet 4 inches forward. Their shallow draft allowed them to operate in coastal waters, enhancing their versatility in coastal defense and support roles. The ships displaced 1,381 metric tons, 1,359 long tons as designed, and up to 1,486 metric tons, 1,463 long tons at full combat load. The ship's hulls were constructed with transverse and longitudinal steel frames and contained 11 watertight compartments. A double bottom was located beneath the ship's engine rooms. Despite their compact size, Blitz and File had a crew of seven officers and 127 enlisted men, though this number was later revised to six officers and 135 sailors. When serving as torpedo boat flotilla leaders, the ships had an additional three officers and 16 enlisted men. The ships carried several smaller boats, including one picket boat, one yawl and one dinghy. Later in their careers, a cutter, another yawl and another dinghy were added. The Blitz-class of Isos were marvels of late 19th century shipbuilding. The ship's propulsion system consisted of two horizontal, two-cylinder double expansion engines in a single engine room. The engines drove a pair of three-bladed screws. Steam for the engines was provided by eight coal-fired locomotive boilers. After refits in the early 1890s, the ship's boilers were replaced with newer, more efficient models. Blitz received eight transverse cylindrical boilers, while File had eight cylindrical boilers installed. The ships were supplied with electrical power with a single 10 kilowatt, 13 horsepower generator that operated at 67 volts. As built, the ships were fitted with a schooner rig 
with a sale area of 591 square meters, 6,360 square feet, to supplement her steam engines. But this was later reduced to a rig of auxiliary sails with an area of 282 square, 3,040 square feet. And the sails were removed entirely by 1900. The propulsion system was rated at 2,700 metric horsepower, 2,700 imperial horsepower, for a top speed of 16 knots, 30 kilometers per hour, 18 miles per hour. Neither ship reached this speed on trials. Blitz managed 15.7 knots, 29.1 kilometers per hour, 18.1 miles per hour, and File made 15.6 knots, 28.9 kilometers per hour, 18.0 miles per hour. The ships carried up to 220 tonnes, 220 long tonnes, 240 short tonnes of coal, which allowed them to steam for approximately 2,440 nautical miles, 4,520 kilometres, 2,810 miles, at a cruising speed of 9 knots, 17 kilometres per hour, 10 miles per hour. Steering was controlled with one rudder. The Blitz-class Avisos had a good armament. As built, the Blitz-class Avisos were armed with one 12.5 cm, 4.9 inch KL-23 gun placed in a pivot mount atop the bow. The gun was supplied with 100 rounds of ammunition. The ships were also equipped with four 8.7 cm KL-23 guns in single mounts and one 35 cm, 13.8 in torpedo tube mounted in the bow above the waterline. In 1891 and 1892, the ships were rearmed with six 8.8 cm SKL-30 guns in single mounts. These were carried one on the bow, one on the stern, and two amidships on either broadside. They also received three 35 cm torpedo tubes, one in the bow and one on each broadside, all submerged in the hull. The ships did not carry any armor protection. There were two ships of the Blitz class ships. SMS Blitz was the lead ship of her class, which included one other vessel, SMS Pfeil, the second and final member of the Blitz class. Blitz was laid down in the summer of 1881 by the German shipbuilder Norddeutsche Schiffbau Gesellschaft in Kiel, Germany. She was launched on August 26, 1882 and completed on March 28, 1883. File was laid down in the same year by the German shipbuilding company Kaiserliche Werft in Wilhelmshaven, Germany. She was launched on September 16, 1882 and completed on November 25, 1884. Service History of the Blitz Class Upon entering service, Blitz served as the flotilla leader for the first torpedo boat flotilla. At the time, Alfred von Tirpitz, the future architect of the High Seas Fleet, directed the operations of the Navy's torpedo craft, and Blitz was involved in evaluations of torpedo boat capabilities in the early 1880s. These included tests to demonstrate the ability of the boats to operate away from sheltered coastal waters and weapons tests. File initially served with the training squadron until late 1889, when she was deployed to German East Africa to help suppress the Abushiri revolt. She helped to enforce a blockade of the colony and also took part in operations against rebel forces, sending men ashore and bombarding enemy troops. In the 1890s, both ships operated with the fleet, blitz with the torpedo boats, and file as a scout for the capital ships. During this period, they routinely took part in the yearly training routine that consisted of flotilla and squadron exercises and culminated in the annual fleet maneuvers held every August and September. They also frequently escorted members of the royal family, including Kaiser Wilhelm II, who cruised aboard his yacht Hohenzollern. By the mid-1890s, both ships began to take on secondary duties, including fishery protection patrols to prevent foreign fishing boats from violating German territorial waters, acting as tenders, and serving as training ships, although they continued to serve as active units in the fleet. The ships were involved in a number of accidents over the course of their careers, each sinking a merchant ship in accidental collisions. 
Both ships were assigned as dedicated tenders to I Squadron and the 2nd Squadron in the mid-1900s, and in this capacity they accompanied the fleet's battleships on long-range cruises and continued to participate in the annual manoeuvres. Blitz and File continued to serve as tenders during World War I, though Blitz's activities during the war are unclear, as one historian reports her initially being used for coastal defence patrols, though another source states that she remained a tender through 1917 when she was sent to participate in Operation Albion against Russian forces in the Baltic Sea. She was reportedly also slated to take part in Operation Schlusstein in August 1918, also directed against Russia, but the plan was cancelled. File, meanwhile, was also used to train U-boat crews. Blitz and File were ultimately struck from the naval register in 1921 and 1922, respectively, before being broken up. Blitz was in service for 35 years. That's the end of that video. Like, subscribe and always keep learning.